Now, this comment comes on the heel of a video that I just did about why Vespasian created Christianity. And I was talking about the War of the Maccabees and the Jews that were at the time frame of the Maccabees, 163 um, BCE, as well as the Jews that were during the time of Vespasian, which would have been, you know, 30 BC, 30 um, in our current era. So let's look at what you're saying here, sir. And who are you refer? Who are your Jews? Are you referring to the present day Jews? who confirm in John 3, 8, 3, 3, that they have never been enslaved, not in Egypt, Babylon, or Persia. Okay, so this is John 3, 8, 33. You're taking the one verse and you're moving it into the wrong context of the entire chapter of what they're actually talking about. You see, at this point, Jesus was teaching in the temple. And in the temple, he's telling the people that, if, that he was taught by the Father. Now, in that, there's a problem there. He's only teaching what the Father had taught him. So this is where Arius was saying that Jesus and God were not the exact same because how can God teach himself? God would already know. He would not need to be taught and that he is only doing the will of his father and that he's following the, the words of his father, of the father, of God. And this is why Jesus' teachings are different than the Old Testament teachings. And he's talking about the fact that if you follow God, follow the, the words that he's speaking, the teachings that he's giving, that you will not taste death, that you will be free. And of course, the people in John 8, 33 are saying that, whoa, 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 we are the seed of Abraham and we have never been enslaved. They're not talking about historically enslaved. They're talking about right at that moment, those people alive at that moment who, if you look at Jewish people, they came out of Ur. Abraham came out of Ur. They became, they were Sumerians. And so, yes, if you want to use racial terms, because back then people didn't use racial terms, they were Sumerians who became Hebrews. So they were more national or tribal. So they weren't talking about race. So it's not about being black or anything like that. That's something we do today. That's adding our consciousness, our thought processes today, our morality today to their time. That We can't do that when we're studying this kind of information. So what they were saying and what Jesus was saying is that if you listen to me, you will be free of sin. That That's the freedom that he's talking about. And he says that he does not have a devil himself. He's talking about within himself. That he doesn't have a devil, but he's telling these people that they, their father is a devil because of the devil that lives inside them. If you want a more modern take on that, just as somebody suggested earlier, and I will do more about this particular book called Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. He says that the devil is the negative portion of your brain. It's that one seed of doubt that causes you to not be able to ascend to your higher self. So the devil is not outside of you, but inside of you. And you must conquer that devil in order for you to truly reach the higher consciousness of God and your God and who you are as a